You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Today, I have a new face for Greater Brockton. I have Beverly Pavisaris. Beverly, welcome. Thank you. Nice to see you great here. Great to be here. You guys do great work in the community, the Brockton Visiting Nurses Association. How, how many years? We were first incorporated in 1904. Wow. Yeah. I was at one of your big celebrations that you had. Mm -hmm. You guys are over at 500 Belmont. Right, correct? that's correct, yes. And you help people in the community. You guys are a nonprofit group. Yes. We cover all of Brockton, we cover 30 other communities, and we provide home health care services, certified home health care services, um, to individuals who have. Uh, new diseases that they're trying to adjust to, those people who need wound care. Uh, we do a variety of things. We have a therapy department, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech pathologist well, to people in their homes. I'm very familiar with it because we're consumers. Mom and dad consume Brockton VNA services. Thank you very much. For you are very the welcome. The wonderful services you provide. And being a nonprofit, you're not in it to make money. You're in it to That's cover right. costs That's and to right. help people. Absolutely. Our mission is to provide superior services to patients in their home and to keep people safely in their homes. Mm -hmm. um, it's been proven that people recover much quicker from illnesses um, if they can be cared for in their home environment. And I think the nonprofit part is even more important because you know, unfortunately, we had an experience where we dealt with a for-profit, and it wasn't a good experience, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And it was because at the time, the hospital kind of said, well, this is your only choice. You have a choice. When you're in the hospital to pick a VNA, you get to choose. Right. Mark, that is so important, and all of our consumers need to be aware of that. They do have a choice. That is key. You have the ability to choose the VNA, the provider that you want mm -hmm. to service you. Well, you got a big event coming up, and I'm going to hold up the uh, the little brochure. Mm -hmm. It's the Caring for Kids 26th Annual Golf That's Tournament. Right. That's right. Okay? That is correct. You guys correct. have been doing this for a while. I know a lot of people that have been, been involved with your organization. I'm going to put it down so I can look at it. Mm -hmm. But you get a lot of people that are involved in your organization that I've been involved with, with Rotary for years, where people have been on your board of directors that promoted the event. When you do the mini golf tournament, that's when you can get me because <laughs> I can't play golf to save my life. I can't hit this side of a barn. Okay? But you're doing it right here in Brockton. That's you're right. a good... You said 30 communities, but mm -hmm. Brockton is your base, so right. it's on Monday the 21st, September right. 21st, of September. Mm -hmm. and it's at Thorny Lee Golf Club. Yes. What better place? Yes, absolutely. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the day, how people can get involved, Sponsor sure. there's sponsorships, there's packages, there's probably holes. We won't talk prices or anything, nope. but you can steer them to the right direction as to who to contact. Of course. And just to share with you a little bit about the Caring for Kids program. That program is more than 30 years old, mm -hmm. and we have been servicing children in our geographical area who are very fragile due to illnesses that they and their family members are dealing with. And um, many of those children have come from the from the Boston hospitals, and parents really would like to have their children cared for in their homes mm -hmm. so that they can still participate in school activities, participate in community activities. So really, we are helping them to stay in their homes and to be part of the family, even though they are getting treatment in their home environment. See, I think a lot of people think DNA older, mm -hmm. okay, people with chronic illnesses. You don't think of the children, right? Okay, exactly. Um, you know, and that's really important. I remember I was a sick little kid. Mm -hmm. I had appendix. I had all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. From the time I was four to the time I was seven, mm -hmm. and I think I lived when I was little at Bridgewater for two years. But I'm mm -hmm. brought, brought the rest of the time right. in the Garden Hospital around the corner. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 you're right. It's better no matter what it is, whether it's a child or an adult or a senior, mm -hmm. to be in your home. Right. It's much more comforting. You are absolutely right. And the way I look at visiting nurses, I think they're angels. Thank and you. I think they're people that really, really, really care about people. And so are the therapists, the physical therapists. We have a wonderful therapist that is helpful for my parents. Okay. Good. And again, it's back to it's not your problem. There are costs that are associated mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. There are insurance.
expenses bill. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily out of your pocket, but it's so much different. We're a nonprofit organization, Brockton Community mm -hmm. Access. If we were a cable, if we were a TV company that sold commercials, all we'd worry about is how much money we made to make a buck. Sure. We don't worry about that. We worry about helping people. Right. And you know, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because one of the reasons why we are doing this fundraiser, this golf tournament, is because health insurances do not pay the full cost of providing the services that we do to these children in their home environment. They will pay part of the cost, but not the full cost. So by having a fundraiser such as a golf tournament, it's a good way to be able to raise the funds to provide the extent of care that we want to to those children and family members. Do you have a goal? Is there a goal for this? Is there a certain dollar figure you're trying to reach? You're trying to exceed last year's or match something? Or if yeah. you don't know, you don't have to tell me. I don't mean to give you a trick question. Well, I think my magic figure would be if we could bring in over a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. And it would add and enhance services. That's right. And that goes right back to the children right. that we are caring for. So, see, people think when they help a nonprofit or charitable organization, you're, you know, you're taking too much money out of the top. Nonprofits right. only operate at very small margins. Mm -hmm. take That's correct. Administrative costs. That's correct. It's not like uh, you, you don't have a Rolls Royce or any of that kind of <laughs> stuff. No. This is direct services to help people. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And that really is our mission statement. Mm -hmm. Whether we're dealing with an elder, whether we're dealing with somebody who is middle-aged and has had surgery, or a youngster. Mm -hmm. That is our mission, to keep them at home and to help them to recover. Two minutes, you get one of them. Okay. Website, phone number, and look in the camera and tell them why they need to participate. Okay. It's really important to have the entire community involved. We're looking for golfers. We're looking for sponsorships from businesses. And we're looking for auction items of value that will help us to raise that goal that, that I have in mind. Um, Cheryl Savage and Andrew Eves are really heading up this entire golf tournament. And Cheryl can be reached at 508-894-5207. So if you have any questions, give her a call, 508-894-5207 and our website is www.brocktonvna.org. Perfect, Beth. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure to have you. Glad to help you for more. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see everyone there. September 21st. Thank you for watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the city of Jacob.